This is the city, Redding, California. Population, 90,033, give or take a tranche in or two. Plenty of ways to keep up on the news in the North State. Some people read the record searchlight. Some people get their news online at anewscafe.com. Thousands of people listen to the morning radio to catch up on events. Two or three people listen to Billy and Patrick. When allegations of kickbacks and bribery taint the airwaves, that's when I go to work. I carry a badge. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Saturday the 26th, I was working day watch out of fraud division. My partner and I were summoned to the mayor's office. I'm having uh, Patrick and Billy investigated. I'm looking into problems with the fact that Patrick won Dancing with the Stars several years ago. And I think there was some malfeasance going on there. Really? Yeah, I think that Billy had a part in this, and we're going to find his fingerprints on some checks that probably may have been to judges or others or maybe even audience members. You're claiming that Billy bribed audience members to vote for him? To vote for Patrick. So this is a big deal. I'm sure the DA really is going to be very interested in this. I don't think they're going to be happy about this. Well, it's a transparent society we live in. I understand, Miss MacArthur, had you look into some irregularities in the Dancing with the Stars competition a couple years ago. Well, she, she's contacted the office, yes. And what did she want you to look into? Well, I really can't go into the particulars of it. I can say that she made a complaint about uh, the Dancing with the Stars event and, uh, and we're investigating it. It was um, a, a kind of a conspiracy between Patrick and Billy. Billy competed, but, uh, or Patrick competed, but uh, uh, Billy allegedly paid off the judges to make sure that Patrick won. What kind of method of payment did Billy use? Well, it's my understanding, and I haven't uh, had a chance to review everything, but it's my understanding he paid with checks, um, which shows that uh, he's not the um, greatest criminal in the world to leave a paper trail like that. <clears throat> Things were not looking good for Billy and Patrick, so my boss, Lieutenant Healy, Rick Healy, instructed me to talk to some persons of interest about their... <laughs> character. So Jennifer, what do you think about Billy and Patrick? Billy and Patrick? They're the radio guys, right? Right. They're the radio guys that beat you every year for best media Billy personality. And, you know, I don't, I, I don't listen to a lot of accordion music. I'm not really into polka. I'm not really sure who Billy and Patrick are. Well, Patrick is the one that beat me, uh, you know, at Dancing with the Stars after he dropped. <laughs> he dropped the woman. <laughs> Maybe that was part of the routine. Yeah. I don't know. That was his shtick, okay. I guess. I don't know. So Billy and Patrick are on the radio, and I, I, I've seen the names in the in the best of the North State. So I don't know them, but I hate them. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. I don't know what else there is. Uh, Patrick and, and Billy. I, I think the best thing they're at. They're just they're just good when they talk to Cheetah. That's that's really the best thing. The last time Merle was here. You know, Patrick is here and he's wanting to see uh, and just have a couple words with him. And uh, Billy's met him before, so, you know, he's, he's just along for the ride. But uh, I called ahead and kind of sandbagged him a little bit. I said, don't let this crazy guy on the bus. He's after an autograph. He's just a hound. So whatever you do, don't let this Patrick guy near Merle. Every month on the 15th of the month, 
I asked Billy and Patrick to send us their answer to the top 10 that's on our website. Um, this month it was the top 10 favorite garden centers and oh gosh, I'm rolling my eyes because it takes forever for Patrick to get his answers to me. I text him and I phone him and I think I phoned him five times and left messages with the office and gosh, I wish we didn't have a contract sometimes because, you know, it's, it's really hard to deal with. Very hard. Sarah, what do you think about Billy and Patrick? What is your opinion of their show? What? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah well, they pretty do. Much. They do suck, don't they? Yeah, I agree. What way do you need Q97, Billy and Patrick? Well, they need us. It's I, They invite me down all the time. I'm not sure what do you mean by that. Describe your relationship with Billy and Patrick. What relationship? Has Billy and Patrick been instrumental in helping here at all? Uh, I'll have to give that some thought. That's, uh, yeah, no. I have worked with Billy and Patrick probably for 11 years, going on 12 now with Make-A-Wish and involved with the Radiothon since its beginning. And in spite of themselves, and, and uh, we, we're still a success. We're still, um, we're still running and making money. Um, Patrick um, is a different sort of duck. He, um, he is a control freak. He um, has to have the, the reins on everybody's lives. Um, and, and he does that a lot, all the time, even behind your back. Um, Billy is a very kind, gentle soul, and that could be almost to a fault, um, because sometimes the job doesn't get done. After all this investigation, the only thing I could figure out was, <coughs> I gotta quit these cigarettes. I would deeply like to thank both of them and Results Radio for all their hard work that they helped us to raise all this money over these last 11 years. Billy and Patrick, seriously, we can't say thank you enough. You guys are awesome. You're always awesome. And um, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know. I mean, we just, we are so grateful for what you do for the mission. Um, a lot of hungry and homeless people are better off because you guys. So thank you. Well, Senator, I just want to thank you for coming out and helping us with this. What yeah, you, you bet. Well, I was working on trying to balance the state budget until you called me up here for the Bronco Billy show, is it? That's Billy and Patrick. Oh, Billy, you know, Pilgrim? Yes, Billy Pilgrim. All right, Pilgrim. When did they let him out, anyway? Out of what, Senator? Oh, never mind. I was trying to find a good attorney. Senator, would you like to say anything to the boys? Well, farewell, guys. It's been great. So, you know, I hope you're the best in whatever you do because you're going the way of Brooks and Dunn and the Judds and all that so uh, you know. Well Senator, they're still together. Oh, well what am I doing here then? Cut! Whose idea was this stupid video?